Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to launch Minecraft or if you are unable to launch Minecraft dungeons from Minecraft launcher and if you are receiving this uh, error code that is 0x87e50029 on your Windows computer then please follow the steps shown in this video. So open Minecraft launcher. So whichever game you are unable to launch. So if you are receiving the error code with Minecraft bedrock then you can select minecraft and then go to installation and then click on uninstall now after the, the uninstall restart your computer and after the system restart again open minecraft launcher and then go to installation and then click on install so uninstall it from here and then reinstall it and then launch the game so if you're facing the error code with minecraft dungeons do the same thing go to installation and then uninstall it then restart your computer and then install it and then launch the game and that should fix this error message but still you are unable to launch minecraft then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now first of all go to this link the link is provided in the video description copy this link open this link in a browser this will take you to microsoft website now check the xbox status now if all the services are up and running that means there is no issues from microsoft side now if you see limited over here or if you see major outage over here that means something is wrong from microsoft side you have to wait for these issues to go away so microsoft will fix it from their end and you should not face any problem so if this this is showing limited or major outage there is nothing wrong at your end the issue with the microsoft and it is showing up and running if every services are up and running that means nothing is wrong from microsoft side so in that case please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video so first step is to disconnect PS5 or PS4 controller. So if you have any PlayStation controller connected to the computer, disconnect it and then launch the game. That should fix the problem. Also disconnect all the external devices which is connected to the computer. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it, unplug it and then launch the game. So disconnect all the external devices which you are not using, unplug it and then launch the game. That should fix the problem. Now the next step is to verify and repair the game. For this, go to Xbox app under install on the left hand side here you can find your game this is just an example so select the game which is giving you the error message and then click on this three dots over here or you can simply make a right click then click on manage now go to files and then click on verify and repair now click on yes now launch the game now the next step is to restart your computer so simply restart your computer sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem so make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to create a desktop shortcut and then launch the game using the shortcut now for this make a right click on the game click on manage or you can click on this three dot and then click on manage so whichever game is giving you the error message this is just an example click on the three dot or simply make a right click and then click on manage now under general here you can see create desktop shortcut click on it now this will create the desktop shortcut now go to desktop make a right click on the game this is just an example make a right click and then click on run as administrator so run the game as an administrator using the desktop shortcut this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to repair or reset the game so whichever game is giving you the error message first of all go to the start menu then click on settings now go to apps and then apps and features in the search box you can find the game so find the game in the list or you can simply write down the name of the game this is just an example i'm showing for minecraft launcher so whichever game is giving you the error message find that game in the list and then in windows 10 simply click on it then you will see the advanced option in windows 11 click on this three dot and then click on advanced option scroll down here you can see the repair option click on repair and after the repair launch the game if that does not resolve the problem then click on reset reset after the reset launch the game now the next step is to delete microsoft store local cache file for this go to this location 
So open File Explorer on your computer, then go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, and then open your username folder, now open app data folder. Now if you don't see the app data over here, in that case, in Windows 10, somewhere over here, you will see view option, click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items. In Windows 11, click on view over here, select show and then put a check on hidden items and then you should be able to see app data over here open app data now open the local folder now open the packages folder now find this microsoft's windows store and this alphanumeric character so find this folder so scroll down so over here you can see microsoft windows store underscore some alphanumeric character Open this folder and over here you will find local cache folder. Make a right click then click on delete and once this is deleted now restart your computer and now launch the game. Now the next step is to log in with same account on Xbox app and Microsoft store. So open Microsoft store in your computer. On the top right here you can see a profile icon. Click on it then click on sign up. Again click on sign in. Select the right account and then click on continue. Make sure that you select the account which has the game pass subscription and then enter the pin or password over here now once logged in now go to xbox app and on the top left here you can see a profile name click on it and then click on sign out again click on the name so click on sign in over here and select the same account which you have selected on microsoft store so log in with same account on microsoft store and with same account on Xbox app and make sure Xbox Game Pass is active on that account. And then click on let's play and then launch the game. Also make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on if so if this is off turn it on so make sure both are on over here and make sure once you turn on this set time automatically and set time zone automatically now click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now now once this is done launch the game also make sure right region is selected over here so make sure right country is selected and then launch the game now the next step is to install all the updates in Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. On the bottom left here you can see library option. Click on library. Now once you click on library on the top right here you can see the option which says get updates. Now click on get updates and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version. Now this is important. Go to the start menu then click on settings. Now in Windows 10, you will find update and security option. Click on update and, update and security in Windows 11. Click on a Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, now restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. Now this will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now try to launch the game. Now the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app and store. So for this first of all type in store in Windows search box make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings. Now on this page scroll down here you can see the repair option click on repair after the repair launch the game if that does not resolve the problem then perform reset click on reset reset after the reset launch the game do the same thing with xbox apps so type in xbox app again make a right click then click on app settings now again on this page scroll down click on repair after the repair launch the game if that does not resolve then click on reset reset 
now after the reset launch xbox app or and then launch the game now the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening this file uh, opening powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key and let the process complete now this process will take some time and during this process you will receive some errors in red color like this so if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete now once done close this window and now launch the game now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic now click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services so at the end scroll down at the end you will find all the xbox services so make a double click on each xbox services set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now again set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok so make a double click on all the xbox services set it to automatic apply click on start and then click on ok so if you find more xbox services do the same thing set it to automatic apply click on start and then click on ok now find windows update in the list make a double click on windows update set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services now make sure gaming services are running over here if not make a right click then you will see the start option click on start if this is already running like this then make a right click then click on stop again make a right click then click on stop now again restart the service make a right click then click on start or restart again click on start or restart now find microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now try to launch the game next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services now for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description now type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this will uninstall gaming services now after this on the same window copy this command paste it over here hit the enter key now this will open microsoft store on your computer and then you will see the install option to install gaming services so click on install click on yes to allow now let the download complete now once the download is complete now you can launch the game so after the installation launch the game now the next step is to install xbox identity provider so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and click on get in store app now this will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and if xbox identity provider is not installed if this is not installed over here you will see the install button if you don't see the install button that means this is already installed so if you see the install option click on install if you don't see it just ignore it now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so for this go to the start menu click on settings apps apps and features now find the game in the list so whichever game is giving you the error message or whichever game is not running find that game this is just an example you select your game and then click on this three dot and then click on uninstall in windows 10 simply click on it then you will see the uninstall option now after the uninstall restart your computer and after the system restart open xbox app and then reinstall the game and then check now the next step is to update windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on 
download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer now the last step is to install windows 7 or 8 version of minecraft launcher for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to minecraft website here you can see scroll down and then here you can see download launcher for windows 7 or 8 so uninstall the current launcher so first of all if the launcher is installed uninstall the current launcher now once you uninstall it restart your computer and after the system restart go to this website and download launcher for windows 7 or 8 click on it and then run this exe file and install the launcher and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch the game successfully from minecraft launcher and you should not receive this error code anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel